Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today I'm up with a design team haul from Panalisa. Now I will be up with some makes for tomorrow just going into the weekend so today is just to share. Now if you remember my last haul I was sent some oxide inks and they were these and I did actually test them against branded and they were absolutely gorgeous and those were the colour comparisons, if you remember that little test. But I've been sent some more because I loved them so much. And this time I was sent seedless preserves. I'll just put them down so I'm not all shaking. Shaded lilac. Peacock feathers. Faded jeans. Pine needles. And gathered twigs. So... I now own the full set of Oxide inks from Panalisa and I did a quick test of them and I'm going to try and go in close there so that you can see. Now I will tell you that these are once again thankfully different shades to the branded so these will be complementary to those shades whether they be slightly darker, slightly lighter or just tonally different, if you know what I mean. So there's the close-up of Shaded Lilac, Peacock Feathers, Blue Jeans, Seedless Preserves. You can see here, this is very pink, whereas we know Seedless Preserves to be um, a kind of pink purple. We've got gathered twigs. This one is much paler. And then we've got pine needles, which is also a lot paler. So once again, very complimentary to anything that you may have. But I will be using these tomorrow to uh, make a project. Right, so that is the inks. Next up, I received a rabbit. And I'm going to show it you very quickly because it's sold out. It's sold out already. Yeah. And... I'm going to try and push my inks back a little bit further there. And I was sent this gorgeous set of eggs. Now, I don't normally like to show the name upside down, but you've got all lacy bits, you've got handles, you've got um, cracked eggs with really lovely patterns pieces, you've got the egg shaped basket. I think that says Happy Easter. We've got a smaller egg with a layering piece, there's a little banner piece another cracked egg, you've got a whole um, scallop edge egg and then we've got a bow, we've got a banner that you can stamp Happy Easter or put that sentiment on, there's a pretty little flower and there's a tiny little egg with um, a little embossed section that could be like a little belt tie or something, I'm not entirely sure or it might even go in the centre of the bow. So that's one that needs to be made. And I will measure the basket so that you've got um, an estimate. And I will pause in a second and remove that ink because I think it's uh, getting in the way of what we're doing. Right, I am going to say that that is three and five eighths on the outside edge and that is cutting edge to cutting edge. I don't tend to do this bit on the outside. I'm only interested in the bit that cuts. Well, I'm just going to pause so that I can move that ink. Right, that's better. We've got it down nice and flat now so that you can see it all. And it is a beautiful set. The next one that I've got is, I think that says friend. Uh, you know me and things that are back to front. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that says friend. And it's a panel with a banner that you can stamp into or pop your sentiment onto and you've got this pretty little collection of flowers and those ink colours that I've just shown you you know they're all going to go really really well with something like that now I will measure this because that is beautiful that is a little folding garden gate. Now you could, if you wanted to, just attach that onto a flat piece of card to be the opening section. And you could have little rabbits or critters or just a huge amount of flowers going on. I mean, those two together would be absolutely lovely. And that might be how I use them um, for tomorrow. 
So the width of that going off to its little edge is just under four inches. And then cut line to cut line, we are four and seven eighths of an inch. So, you know, I put my hand on that. That's really lovely. And then I've got something quite unusual. These are layering up dies that create a panorama diorama. And you can see they're cut there. So you, you cut your different individual scenes and your hollows out of whatever size cards you want. So you place those, like if you've got, um, let's measure the depth first so that I can explain it properly. Right, so that is four and one eighth. So you want to go larger than that. And I'm just moving my ruler into a position where I would probably have it. Right, so if you've got a five inch piece of card in height, you could go as wide as you want to. And all it's going to do is make your aperture in the center of that design larger. So you could go five by 10 if you wanted to, but maybe that would make a really nice chunky, I would say five by seven, five by eight. And then you've got all your flowers and everything cut in. You've got your little fairy. In fact, I'll do this one tomorrow because I think that's going to be the best explanation. And then you've got these lovely other layering pieces. So you've got these poppy seed head houses and you've got the mushroom house and then you've got all the pretty little additions of fern leaves flowers and mushrooms so i will do that tomorrow so that there's a better explanation because i've also got another two of these and this one is the tropical version which will work exactly the same way as the fairy version so once you see me do one, you'll know how the others work. And then this one is the woodland, but this one operates on a curve. So you'd be cutting almost like a circle into the center of your card, layering trees. And also you've got your wildlife. So I'm pretty sure that's a male deer, a female deer. And that there is a little fox. So those are just really cute love those but let's do the fairy one tomorrow in um in a let's make this and then i'll be able to explain it all a lot better right and we'll also use all of the ink so we'll do ink blending and we'll do some cutting right that is what i have for you today and i thank you so much for joining me have an absolutely awesome day and as usual all links below bye